there's something about sautéing vegetables before you add them to a dish that just really brings out a sweet depth of flavor. And once you start doing this, you'll probably want to do it all the time, no matter what you're fixing. So I have my bacon drippings in the pan, and I've chopped up my cabbage. I like to get it about the size of onions, when you chop onions to add them to a noodle dish. I've got the bacon drippings nice and hot. You can hear it sizzle when I add the cabbage. And whenever you're sauteing any kind of vegetable, you do want to be sure that the fat you're using is very hot so that the raw vegetables don't just sit in the, the grease and just soak it up. So I'm going to let this saute until it's just a little bit tender. Now, because I'm using a saute pan, it doesn't come with a cover. But remember, in this recipe, I do cover the cabbage for about five minutes to let it cook and get real, real tender. So when I don't have a cover for one of the pans I'm using, I just find another one that fits nicely on the top to act as a cover. So I find that my grill pan is just the right size to set right over my saute pan, and it covers it nicely so that that cabbage can steam. So once it's done cooking and becomes tender, I can mix it with those cooked potatoes and the noodles and make that wonderful dish in this week's column. I hope you'll try it. I am Sue Doden, and I'm all about food.